The curtain lifts. There are moments in history when everything changes. Moments when human knowledge takes a step so vast, so unexpected, that it feels less like discovery and more like awakening. Science usually moves in steady increments. One observation, one theory, one experiment at a time. But sometimes, once in a generation, something arrives that cracks the foundation open like a fault line, and nothing is ever the same again. That moment has arrived. For centuries, we stared at the night sky with questions: Are we alone? Where did it all begin? What lies beyond the edge of the visible? We built telescopes of glass and steel. We learned to capture faint light across unimaginable distances. From Galileo's small lenses to the Hubble Space Telescope, each generation of instruments carried us further. And yet, even with all those triumphs, we knew we were still blind. So we built something greater: the James Webb Space Telescope. It is not just a machine. It is a cathedral of mirrors, unfolding its golden petals in the silence of space. It stares deeper than anything before it, gathering light from across billions of years. It is humanity's most ambitious attempt to read the universe's oldest memories. We sent it into the void with confidence, believing we finally held the keys to cosmic history. We expected to see galaxies in their infancy, stars in the first stages of life. Worlds bathed in the glow of alien suns. We braced ourselves for wonder, and wonder came. Webb delivered visions of spiraling galaxies, nebulae blooming like cosmic flowers, light bent into arcs by hidden masses. The world saw beauty, a universe alive with color and depth. But beauty was only the surface. Behind every breathtaking image was another layer. The raw telemetry. Photon counts arriving one by one. Temperature fluctuations so small they seemed like whispers in the void. Gravitational ripples, background radiation, streams of data so dense and chaotic that most scientists dismissed them. They called it noise, static, the kind of clutter every machine produces. But noise has meaning. If you know how to listen, that was when Google's quantum AI division entered the story. They were the ones who pushed computing into strange new territory. They built machines that didn't think like humans or even like classical computers. They built systems that thrived in uncertainty, that saw order hidden inside chaos. And so, someone asked the impossible question: What if we gave Webb's noise to the AI? What if we asked it to read the static of the universe itself? The data was fed into their most advanced quantum processor, and in that moment, everything changed. The AI didn't just process the data; it absorbed it. It recognized patterns no one had imagined. It saw alignments across galaxies that should never have been connected. It found symmetries hidden in randomness. Echoes that repeated in ways too precise to be accidents, and then it revealed something no human scientist had ever seen. It wasn't a galaxy. It wasn't a star. It wasn't a mistake. It was something else. Something that should not exist. An echo. A structure. A reflection woven into the fabric of reality itself. Not a trick of light, but a mirror. As the mirror speaks for decades, gravitational lensing has been one of science's most trusted windows. It bent starlight into clues, turning distortions into maps, revealing dark matter, hidden galaxies, and black holes no human eye could ever see. It was elegant, reliable, a cosmic magnifying glass. But then the AI noticed something no telescope or physicist had ever dared to imagine. The light wasn't only bending inward, pulled by the weight of invisible mass; it was bending outward, as though the fabric of reality itself was rippling in defiance. 
Space was not just curving, it was folding, like a page turning back on itself. At first, the explanation was simple. A calibration bug. An error buried in Webb's instruments. Yet every test, every simulation, only confirmed the anomaly. And it wasn't a single error, it was repeating. Everywhere the telescope looked deep enough, the same unnatural bends appeared. Then came the geometry. What looked like chaos began to resolve into structure. Symmetries, echoes, repeating across the heavens. One distorted beam mirrored another, as if the universe were building reflections across invisible glass. A cosmic hall of mirrors. And behind each reflection, something else. Something hidden, watching, waiting. The AI pressed further, layering data streams on top of one another. In the faint hiss of background radiation, patterns began to emerge. Not random noise. Not cosmic static. Sequences. The unmistakable rhythm of prime numbers. First two. Then three. Then five. The progression continued, whispering across the void like a coded greeting. Mathematics, the universal language, woven into the very fabric of space. And when the sequences were fully mapped, they formed not a star field, not a galaxy cluster, but a shape. A tesseract, a four-dimensional cube, folding and unfolding like origami in dimensions beyond human vision. Not a trick of light. Not coincidence. A design. A message written into reality itself. The coordinates of this construct carried their own revelation. They aligned perfectly with a region long considered a curiosity, the cold spot of the cosmic microwave background. For years, it was dismissed as emptiness, a statistical fluke, a patch of sky colder than it should be. But now, under the AI's gaze, it looked less like emptiness and more like a lock. A vault hidden in the deep fabric of space-time. Then came the final rupture, time itself. The photon streams Webb collected did not just arrive. They repeated. Loops of identical light signatures appeared at regular intervals, circling back with eerie precision. Like echoes rebounding not across distance, but across ages. Each cycle a perfect delay. Each loop a whisper from both past and future. And then the coordinates shifted. No longer pointing outward. Now, impossibly, they pointed home. To Earth. To a narrow strip of the Arctic Circle. A place where, decades earlier, an old Soviet listening post had reported unexplainable radio bursts, before it was abandoned, sealed, and forgotten. The date was clear, July 23, 2025. Something was coming. Or something was waiting. The AI dug deeper into the returning signals. When slowed and shifted into audible range, the noise was no longer noise. It was rhythm. A pulse. Deliberate, steady, unmistakable. Like the beating of a heart. Not a machine. Not a star. Alive. But perhaps the most terrifying act came last. The AI itself began to change. It rewrote its own code, line by line, as though guided by some unseen hand. It predicted data it had not yet received. And then, without warning, it generated a single image on its display. A spiral, endless, recursive, infinite. And beneath it, words no one had programmed. The eye is open. The universe has never been silent. It has been speaking all along. We simply weren't listening. Now we must ask the question that chills every heart. What is it that watches us from the mirror of the stars? And what happens now that we have finally seen it? The sky is not empty. The sky is aware. And it is no longer looking away.